So the craft process is also quite often referred to as the sulfate process, and apologies to our American friends out there who like to spell things wrong. So uh, I've spelt that completely wrong because it's sulfate, not sulfite. Uh, it's better to use the word craft because then you don't mix up sulfate and sulfite like I've just done. Um, so the sulfate process uses two main chemicals, sodium sulfate and sodium hydroxide. Um, so it's a very alkaline process. I can't remember the pH, but it's something around about 11. So it's very, very alkaline. Uh, and basically you get the wood chips and you impregnate them with this, what's called white liquor, which is a mixture of these two chemicals. Uh, and then you heat it up uh, for a certain period of time in a reactor which is known as a digester and I think the ones that are used these days are called Kamir digesters which I believe were invented in Finland by digesters, digestor, how do you spell digester? Digester, I think that's how you spell it. Um, look it up, look up digesters is your homework. Um, so basically you get the chips, you impregnate them with the liquor, they go in the digester, they get heated up under pressure for a certain period of time and then because they're under pressure you suddenly release that pressure into something called a blow tank. So the digesters are big, big structures with some sort of top to them which is not surprising and some sort of bottom to them which is not surprising and there's a valve here and that's called a blow tank. So you've got your pressurised chips in there they heat it up under pressure, open the valve, bang, they explode into the blow tank. And that process, that process releases the fibres from the, uh, the chips. So the chips are basically broken open uh, and the fibres are released. You then go through a series of presses and screens and filters uh, which will take out the big bits that didn't break up into fibres, which are usually the knots. So the knots usually aren't really much good for anything, so they're taken out and then used as a, an energy source. The chips that maybe haven't broken open properly, they could be returned into the process to be repulped. Uh, but the main thing that comes out, apart from the knots, is something called black liquor. So we go through this sort of screening, pressing process and then we have something out of here called black liquor. And that black liquor is the remains of these makeup chemicals and the lignin that's come out of the wood. So this is a very, very effective process at removing lignin from the wood and separating the fibres because paper, you don't want lignin in paper because lignin is brown and you want paper to be white. Uh, and also you want paper to be quite flexible and lignin makes things quite stiff. Now, if you're going to make something like cardboard, you might want it to be quite stiff, in which case you would use this process, but you wouldn't pulp it quite so much. You'd leave some of the lignin in the fibres and you'd take those fibres and make cardboard out of them. But if you want to make paper from these fibres, you're then going to have to go through some other processes to get the residual lignin out of those fibres. You may also pulp for a longer period of time to get more of that lignin out, but it's a trade-off. If you pulp for too long, the fibres become weak. So you have to pulp for just the right amount to get as much lignin out as possible without damaging the fibres too much. This black liquor goes to a recovery boiler. So there's a lot of energy stored in this black liquor, which is the lignin that's come out of the wood, and that can be used to power the whole process. And I believe that craft processes are energy self-sufficient and may even be able to export electricity to the grid because of the energy that's recovered in this black liquor um, combustion process. So the black liquor goes to the recovery boiler um, and then there's a number of processes that take it back to recreate white liquor. You have to add some makeup chemical because you've lost some in the process uh, and then it can be reused again and again and again so it's quite a nice cyclic process but it's the fibres we're most interested in. So they have some residual lignin left in them so to take that out, we then have to go through a bleaching process to get nice white paper. 
Uh, and I'll talk about bleaching separately because that applies to all types of um, pulp manufacture, not just to craft processing. So there's a number of technologies that can be used for bleaching, which I'll deal with separately. So that's the craft sulfate process in a nutshell, very, very quickly drawn.